and what is up guys welcome back to Accelerator Sub for another video so believe it or not this video actually wasn't supposed to air till Friday today was supposed to be a collection review video but uh, for some reason the audio on that video is just not wanting to cooperate with me today so we're moving up this video from Friday to today and the collection review video is going to come on Friday where we're going to be reviewing two pretty cool collections two pretty big collections honestly on Friday in that video but for this video today we're going to be doing another pack opening. We're going to be ripping through 12 more carded accelerators hunting for some foil cards. So my apologies to everyone who is waiting for that collection video. I know there are a couple of you that I mentioned it to, but uh, it's not going to be coming until Friday, but it will be ready by then. I will make sure of it. But uh, my computer was just not having it today with that video. So we're going to be posting this one instead. So today, like I said, we're opening up 12 more carded accelerators and I'm starting to run a little bit low. You can see them in this back corner on the table. Uh, we don't have all that many carded accelerators left. So probably after this video, I'll have enough to do one more pack opening, you know, a week or two from now. And then after that, we might be out of luck until I can find some more carded accelerators for cheap or ones on eBay that are pretty beat up blisters. Oh, and just one more side note before we jump into this pack opening. I think I kind of confused a bunch of you guys in that video on Monday with this sheet of, uh, of all the 3D foil cards. I just wanted to clear that up. I know a lot of you guys were clamoring for me to keep the sheet whole and uh, keep it intact, you know, frame it, put it behind me on the wall. But I just wanted to sort of make it clear to you guys that that is not my sheet of cards. Um, it does not belong to me. I was not the one who bought it from this, from the uh, the original seller on Craigslist. My connection bought it, sent it to me, and uh, he commissioned me to cut it up, free the 3D foils from the sheet, and uh, sell them individually on eBay. But uh, I just wanted to clear that up for you guys because I actually don't have control over what happens to that sheet of cards. I was just commissioned to cut it and sell it. It is not mine to make the call of keeping it framed and whatnot. And uh, obviously it would cost me probably four or $5,000 to buy it from him and uh, keep it sealed on the wall. And I just don't have the cash to do that laying around, nor uh, would I really want to put that much money into a sheet of cards like that. So I just wanted to clear that up with you guys that that sheet is actually not mine to decide what to do that I was commissioned to get the sheet cut and sell the cards individually to buyers who are missing those cards for their card sets. That was the whole purpose, but uh, I just really wanted to make sure that I made a video of it and document it for you guys and show it to everybody so that everybody in the community could see what a neat, cool item it was uh, before I, it got cut up, you know, because I didn't want to, uh, I wouldn't want to have an item like that and then get it cut without showing you guys what it looked like originally. I wanted everybody to be able to admire it in all of its splendor before it was divided up into the individual cards. So I just wanted to clear that up for you guys because I know a lot of you guys were clamoring at me to keep it in one sheet, but it is not my item to in a sheet like that. I just wanted to showcase it for you guys and let you guys see how cool it was before it was broken up into the individual 3D foils. And uh, speaking of that, those individual 3D foils probably will be cut and ready to go by this weekend. I'm um, assuming I can get it done by then. And hopefully we will be selling those 3D foils on eBay for you guys, for all of you guys that are missing those cards for your sets. But uh, without further ado, speaking of foil cards, let's go ahead and jump into this pack opening. Let's take a look at the 12 carded accelerators that we are opening up today. All right, guys, this is what we are ripping open today. We have 12 carded accelerators here that are all in pretty beat up, dusty blisters. Let's go through them real quick. We have a Power Rage, Excellium, Carbide, a Technetium, CM5 Iridium, Anthracite, another Technetium, an RDO6, an RDO1, a Nitrium, a Carbide, and an RD10. So we definitely have some rare cars in here that uh, we haven't had for a little while. Like Power Rage, we've got a couple of Technetiums, CM5 Iridium, another Carbide, RD10 is one that I definitely haven't had for a while. So these are the 12 that we are ripping open today. So this would be a total of 36 total cards. So 12 three packs, yeah, 36 total cards. Hopefully we can pull at least one or two foils out of them, but I'm gonna go ahead and rip these open and then we'll get into the pack opening. And here we are with our array of cards that we just liberated from the packaging. We have our Excellium, Technetium, RDO6, Nitrium, RDO1, Carbide, this RD10. So cool. One thing that's always puzzled me about these RD10 cars, if we can get the camera to focus, let's see here. So it kind of looks like on top, it's like a gloss black. And then the bottom half of the RD10 is always like this matte black looking paint. It almost like it has two different textures on the car. They, uh, they always look like that for some reason. Then we have the CM5 Iridium, Power Rage, Technetium, Carbide, and an Anthracite. So definitely some rarer cars that we haven't had in stock for a while. And uh, by the time this video posts, uh, probably late this evening, uh, all these cards should be into my card listing. Any cards that we pull probably won't be in the listing until uh, closer towards this weekend, but these cars definitely will be. So if you are missing these cards, definitely head over to my eBay store and uh, go snatch them up while you can, because I'm sure they won't be here very long. And of course we have the real treat, which is these 
12 Acceleracers card packs that we are going to be ripping open. And all right, we have our 12 Acceleracers three packs that we're going to be ripping open today for this video. I am super excited to rip these bad boys open. It's been a week or two since I've done a pack opening. And uh, last time, what did we pull? We pulled the foil torque power bomb. And uh, did we pull a foil torque power bomb? I don't know, I might have opened that off camera and pulled a foil torque power bomb, but I think that was the last foil that I pulled. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start ripping into these packs here and see if we can come up with something cool. And as always, Realm foil cards would be awesome, but you know, one card that I have not seen in a very long time is a Jump Jets. We are definitely waiting for a Jump Jets card. So let's jump into this first pack here. We've got the Ruins Realm. That's an awesome seven to $8 pull. Asphalt Anchor, not a great start. And we pulled a high voltage card. Look at that. That is an easily a $15 to $20 card. That is a great pull. I've been out of stock on high voltage for a while. That is an awesome start. Second pack here, we've got Bat Swarm, Wall Crawl, ugh, and Nitrium. Wow, that was not a great pack. All right, next up, we've got Mega Base Box, Spy Eye, and Carbide. Bummer. Now, uh, as we did open a couple of Technetiums, a Carbide, an RD10, uh, we do have a pretty high likelihood to pull some rare vehicle cards like the High Voltage. Maybe we could pull a Cub Light, that would be awesome, or a Pile Driver. <laughs> Those two have been really tough to find for me recently. But uh, so there is some opportunity to pull some rare vehicle cards here. Fourth pack, we've got Draft, Grappler Claw, and RD10. Still nothing crazy. Next up, we've got Reaction Time, 2D, and RDO6. All right, seven packs to go. Here we go. Anti-Gravitation, Foil Shell Skin Card. There we go. There's our first foil of the pack opening, and it's definitely a nice one. This is honestly one of my favorite cards in the card game. The art on this card is incredible. I'm pretty sure it's Carbide. Uh, no, actually, I think it's Iridium on this card that is... Uh, it is a pretty sweet looking card. So that is our first foil of the day. And the last card was a Rolling Thunder. So there we got a foil and a high voltage so far. All right, next up we've got Draft again. Foil Bootlegger Reverse. We just pulled back to back foils, guys. We got a Shell Skin Foil and a Bootlegger Reverse. This one definitely not as cool as the Shell Skin. I've got a ton of Bootlegger Reverse, but a foil is still a foil nonetheless. And our last card was in Anthracite. So two foils and a high voltage so far. This is starting to pick up steam very quickly and we still have what, five or six packs to go? Let's see if we can get this one open. Oops, almost dropped it. All right, this time around we've got the Wind Realm. That's an awesome pull. All or Nothing and Iridium. We've got Diffusion Glass, Wall Crawl, and Power Rage. Lots of Power Rage cards lately in these pack openings. For a while, it was a pretty rare card for me, but uh, lately I've been pulling them left and right. So let's see here, this next pack. I mean, all these packs have been a pain to get open. This time around, we've got Buckle Up, Vectra Magnesium, and Excellium. So two packs to go now. Ooh, I'd love to pull one more for a round. We've got Sound Buffer, Ice Shrapnel, Bummer, and Carbide again. And on to the last and final pack here. I really would love to pull a third foil. Those realm foils have been eluding me for the longest time. So let's go ahead and see what we've got here. Can we go out with a bang? We've got Sand Speed. That is not too impressive. The Cavern Realm, that's awesome. I've actually been out of stock on the Cavern Realm for a week or two now, and it's really not that rare of a card. I just uh, haven't been able to pull it for whatever reason. And a Chicane is the last card. There we go. So a Chicane, a high voltage, two foils and a cavern room. This has been an awesome, awesome pack opening. I haven't had to look like this in a while. This definitely feels very nice. So two foils, a chicane and a high voltage out of 12 packs. Wow, that's awesome. That's basically like pulling four foils out of 12 packs. That is absolutely incredible. And this is what I'm talking about. This is a heck of a pack opening. And we have our two foils right here. There we go. It's been a while since we've really knocked the pack opening out of the park. I know the last one I said that we uh, we crushed it and it was pretty good, but uh, this one was even better than that one. So we will not complain. 
And that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. As always, I really hope you enjoyed watching me rip through some accelerators packs, pull some foils, and get some rare accelerators cards to put back into my car listing on eBay. So if you are looking for those cards, definitely go snatch them out of the listing. And uh, these rare cards probably won't be in the listing until sometime this weekend. Uh, yeah, probably sometime this weekend I'll get those listed. And uh, on Friday, like I said, we have another pretty cool collection review video coming. we got two awesome collections that you guys are really going to enjoy, I think. Uh, they each have at least one unique feature that uh, has not really been showcased a lot. So it's going to be pretty cool to see. But that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. As always, smash the like button and subscribe to the Accelerators Hub for more Accelerators related content. And uh, we got the giveaway video coming sometime next week for the 650 subscribers uh, since we did pass that mark not too long ago. And then, you know, we're 40 subs away from 700. So who knows? We got another giveaway right after that. Lots of cool stuff coming, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.